say a few words. Good afternoon. Thanks for being here today in support of the documented students and also all of the undocumented immigrants that live in the United States, the 11 million we've already heard of. My name is Deborah Gonzalez and I'm an immigration attorney, so I know exactly what it takes for an immigrant to become legalized in this country. Like many of you, I was very sad to hear the news on Monday that DACA had been rescinded, but I was not surprised. The revocation of DACA is yet another demonstration of this administration's white supremacist policies. It can be no coincidence that one weekend before the announcement of the revocation of DACA, that the former sheriff of Maricopa County, Arizona, Joe Arpio, was pardoned by this president. It is no coincidence. I agree. Boo. <laughs> Time and again, this administration has shown all of us that he is looking to bring back the times before the civil rights movement, and we will not let that happen. <laughs> we must all be alert. We must call out our politicians and leaders when they blatantly lie to us. Attorney General Jeff Sessions lied to the public when he said that DACA provided legal status. DACA never provided legal status. DACA only provided temporary reprieve from deportation. It never provided legal status. He lied to us when he said that DACA recipients received Social Security benefits. That is an absolute lie. DACA recipients who work, who have paid into the Social Security system, will never see a dime of the money they paid in until they become lawful permanent residents. He lied when he said that the DACA program caused an influx of immigrants in 2014 and 2015. That was legally impossible for it to happen, as DACA applicants only qualified for DACA if they had been living in the United States since 2007. That it was an absolute blunt and lie in all of our faces. We need to call our politicians out. They are not going to stand here and lie to us. And we were yet again lied to when this administration announced that they were going to give DACA recipients a six-month reprieve. There is no six-month reprieve. The March 5th, 2018 date just means that if your DACA expires on that date, you must file for DACA renewal within 27 days. You know what that means? That means that DACA recipients need to come up in the next 27 days with $495 to extend their DACA applications. That is not a reprieve, my friends. That's punishment. How do you expect a DACA recipient who is either working or going to school to come up with $495 in 27 days? That's insane. As U.S. citizens, you need to call or, or ask DACA's or as undocumented people, you need to call your friends who are U.S. citizens and their families and ask them to call their friends and their families, whether they live in the state of Rhode Island, whether they live in Illinois, whether they live in Texas, whether they live in South Carolina, for them to call their legislators and tell them to vote for the DREAM Act that's being supported by Senator Durbin and, and uh, Senator, I'm sorry, I forgot, Lindsey Graham. <laughs> Girl, I don't want immigration just for you guys. Trust me, I'm an immigration lawyer. I want it for everybody. But if our first step is dreamers, then damn it, let's go there. Let's get dreamers in. Because once we get dreamers, maybe we can get the parents. And I want your parents to become legalized, girl. I do. I want all your parents to become legalized. We need to act as U.S. citizens and let our politicians know that we're not going to stand idle and let some orange guy in Washington lie to us. Now that I'm all worked up, I want to make an announcement. 
There are several clinics that are being held to provide you with information if you're confused or if you know somebody who's confused about DACA. Dorcas International, which is located at 645 Elmwood Avenue, is having an info session on Monday at 6 p.m. to provide information. You also have the opportunity to go there for an appointment. I think they're doing them for free. Oh my God, I hope I don't get in trouble for saying that. But I, I think they are. It's a what? Okay, so I don't know if they're doing it for free or not. There's definitely going to be a fee for DACA. If not, call me. I'm happy to help you with your DACA application. All right? I'm at Roger Williams University School of Law, the Immigration Clinic. Thank you. Progreso Latino, Martha just whispered in my ear, Progreso Latino also sees, uh, has consultations for DACA people. Thanks so much.